Hi everyone, it's Monday at the Mystical Magical Mansion. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Can you hear, hear the birds? They're chirping like crazy. It's a beautiful spring morning. We just got some rain and so much is going on here at the house. So many repairs and changes, but they've all been outside this week. The back porch is getting a ton of work. Look at the progress. Okay, so this is what we've got underneath of this wall, which is the supporting structures underneath of here, as you can see, have disintegrated. That's all broke down, so that's going to have to be replaced. And this up here under the base is not great either, so they're going to have to fill a lot of this in. And at some point, somebody put insulation in here, which they said probably helped um, support it a little bit, but it also probably then held moisture inside the bricks too. But wow, this is really disintegrated inside of here. So they said that's just natural water degradation over time. But yeah, that looks, um, doesn't look all that great. So yes, lots of, lots of repairs to be done and thank goodness they're doing it because this would just continue to get worse. So, ugh. What do you think, Patsy? Oh my gosh, it's never what you think it's going to be until you open these things up and then you find out the reality, which isn't always that great. So anyway, that's where we're at today. Step down the edge blocks. Looking so much better. Oh, music stopping. Oh, good. <laughs> The crew is finished up for the day today and it is looking really, really good. Kind of amazing that just this morning it was a hot mess express. So they um, did the, the steps along here. Obviously this is different instead of a ledge, it's just a nice stair step. So it makes everything look much more open and clean. They'll come back and do some caulking and some other things with it, but letting this all dry today, but man, they did a miracle and put a new support under the main slab up top so it's um you know more anchored and everything's a little more supported so my gosh what a transformation today has brought so they started this morning he's been grinding out all of the mortar in the places that are going to be repointed so just kind of taking it you know deeper down in there so they can fit more mortar into the spaces and then again these spots over here where this stuff will need to be removed so, yeah project is underway with the masons today hard scratching out daylilies now and forever right so we've got all of this lava rock removed and you can see the scalloped border that we don't know how old it is I'm guessing at least 50 or 60 years old of brick. There's Dixie. And then all these other day lilies. And then this is the path that we uncovered. Flagstone path that leads up to Dixie. And then Kim was digging in here earlier and we found where there was a fence post at one point in time. Looks like that's a stepping stone of some type. Another fence post. So this was a gate. So this was leading. There's probably another stone if I had to guess under here, which I'll start looking for. But there used to be a gate there that would then go back that way. But not sure when the neighbor's house was put in there. But And then if you look on down the line, we found more brick, well not brick, actually cement places where they've had fence posts in. So not all the discoveries that you find in an old house are in the old house. Sometimes they're buried in the yard. So we've been digging here in the back 
along where our cement slab is. And you can see the um, brick fireplace. But we've been trying to get this all dug up and ready because they're gonna come tomorrow to put some cement down. And we found this pattern. It's sort of like being on an archeological dig. Because if you look, you can see there's just like an area that's all around this that we have been digging up a pattern in rows of these bricks. So this is the pile that's come out of here that we've taken out. And it's interesting, they all say, well, most of them have this pattern on it that says Coffeeville. So they've been put under, or at some point they were made, put in a pattern around the patio. They're really beautiful bricks. And so I'm glad we're digging them up and saving them before the, um, the guys come tomorrow to break up that big slab. But in here, there's like this slab over here. And then along here is where all those bricks would have been in that pattern coming along here. And then in the center, there's just sort of layers of um, broken flagstones and broken cement and things all together. But Ryan did find one really cool tile. So I'm going to keep digging. I'm going to keep digging around in here and just see what else I find. So here on one of the pieces of cement that we flipped over, you can see the pattern of the brick pressed in there. So they must have poured some of it just on top of that to fill some things in. I don't know. This is such a mystery. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm looking for ancient archeological artifacts. Okay, so we found a second tile that was, oh, dang it, we broke it. But these were, yeah. like the cement was poured into this it. This side was, Yeah. that side was up. So last time we just did this. tiles that someone just poured cement into this to cover these up. bottom like someone poured cement the over these one. yes so there's a part of one here's two pieces of one can you believe someone like got rid of these oh my god this is crazy so i'm still digging still unearthing the piles just keep growing here of bricks but i think it's really interesting i'm out here kind of in the middle of where sort of the patio area would be. And it, I mean, we're under, I'm digging through probably, what, two to three inches of soil. And then when you come to a brick, you see here in the middle, they had it smooth side up. So out around the edge, it was a really cool pattern with the bricks up, but out here sort of, I don't know if it was walkway or just where the tables were or how they use this area, but they're all smooth side up here. So, Clearly they were laid in a really interesting pattern. I wish I could have seen it. Um, and then there's all these bits of broken cement and stuff through it. So we're just kind of sifting through and then kind of in this area, there seems to be a, a bit of a herringbone pattern that I'm finding. So yeah, still unearthing, still digging and still finding more bricks. Really don't want to let these just go to the old um, trash heap tomorrow, so I'm going to keep trying to get more of these out before the new pad gets laid tomorrow. So here you can see these three are side by side. And we've got one with the design up, one with smooth side, and one with the design up again. So, gosh, it's crazy. We didn't even know this was under here until this afternoon. We just started digging and Voila. So this is the big, most intact chunk of tile that we found in the pile. So amazing that this was just sort of under the rubble, someone else's rubble. That 
pretty that is when you clean it up. My gosh, it's just gorgeous. Just someone's little remnant. I think they must have just pitched a bunch of them to fill the pile. And the little bits. Isn't that so pretty though? What's really cool is when you flip it over, it's a Belgium from Belgium. Slava Slava la, la, la. I don't know what that name is, but yeah, this was a very fancy tile that was used in someone's house, maybe even in the neighborhood, not sure. Tonight's dinner. Hello Fresh and Chef De Jour. Seniors champion. <laughs> seniors or seniors champion. champion. No, master <laughs> champion. What the heck am I thinking? Masters. We watched masters. the Masters today. You did. Yes. Congratulations, Sean Rob. Yes. We're cooking and eating and... Creeping scallions enjoying. on there. Yes, we even have scallions and sesame seeds. We are next level. Isn't that tile amazing? Can you believe that that was someone's rubble? Maybe they were using, you know, just some pieces and parts from other jobs that were finished to pitch into um, the area in our backyard while they were working on it. It's amazing to me. We spent the entire afternoon, the entire day Sunday, digging through all of those rocks and salvaging a ton of bricks. And I'm so glad we did because you know what? They're not just regular bricks, they're fancy bricks. They're unapologetically fancy. So I hope this week you will do something special for yourself. You'll take some time to go outside, to be in nature, to start getting your, your yard, your flower beds all spruced up for spring. And I hope that you will do something that makes life feel just a little more special, a little more elevated, because you know what? We're not guaranteed a tomorrow and you deserve the good stuff today. So stay well and best wishes for the Mystical Magical Mansion.